I am the master of the seas. The monkeys are back in the treehouse. Okay, good morning from Costa Rica. This is our last day. And uh, we're gonna start it off right. We're going fishing. And apparently we uh, first sit in the back of this truck and ride to the fishing place. Put your seatbelt on, Lincoln. Good job. <laughs> This is, must be where we're going out fishing, and these are our kayaks. Nice Morning, I'm Dan. Now it's time to get into our boat. Where's my backpack? Look at this view. Isn't this just gorgeous? This little cove here. Really not that many people here. Just us and a couple other people out there swimming. Um, I got my life vest on. He said that adults don't have to wear life vest. Safety is important. Second all, be a good example. Okay, we have officially switched over to this camera right here. Um, this is gonna be our audio and our camera because I don't wanna get this thing dropped in the ocean. Ocean water equals bad news for this guy. We're gonna go paddle out. <laughs> okay, we are uh, heading out to go fishing. Only thing is, as of right now, I do not have a fishing pole, just a paddle. Wanna go right, you paddle on the left side. Paddle lesson 101. How's it going boys? How was the uh, ride out? Great. I got wrecked by a wave. Supposedly there's a reef right under us with lots of fishes. You guys take a look and let me know. But you don't want like tons and tons of string. You want it to kind of feel tight so in your hand, if a if fish nibbles, you feel it, you pull on it. And it, it hooks, them, hooks it into its mouth. This is my bait right here. I'm gonna drop them down. How many fish have you caught so far? I had a few huge, I had two huge ones in my life. You lost them? Chop that fire. Look at all these. I got me a fish. I got me a real fish on the on the pole. I'm bringing him in. It's not even a pole. It's this little thing. I baited him in, hooked him. Look at him. Oh, hey, little buddy. He's got the tiniest mouth ever. Oh, what's that noise you're making? <laughs> okay, go back in the water. Isn't it funny? Hey, you wanna hold it? Yeah, sure. Look at it. What's it called? Perico. Perico! I'm gonna call him Perico Suave. That's his name. You gonna throw him back in? Yep. Thank Fun. you, fish. Gracias, fish. There he goes. Oh, little guy. And he's off. Alright, I caught the first bit fish. Apparently, there are mas grande fish in the ocean. <laughs> but hey, at least I caught one. Got him. Lincoln got a fish and it has a big mouth. Wow, Lincoln. Yeah. That guy is just big enough to eat your bait. I'm trying to fix my paddle and then I felt something. Maybe make up a better story than that. Um, I was trying to fix my paddle so it wouldn't fall into the ocean. Yeah. Oh, look at his teeth. You feel his teeth? Feel his teeth in his mouth. Feel him. Oh, his front ones are super sharp. Look at the top. Whoa! You see those? Oh. Got him. That's Be free! Bye. He saw the guy. He dove down in the water. No, I. And then he hooked him with his hand. He went and got him like that. That was a pretty good, Lincoln. Wow, quite the fishing story. Where I was just trying to fix my paddle. He was at least two feet big. Two feet long. Oh wow, that thing's cool. For fish buddies. Oh, that is sick. Nice job, Kai. Well, there's definitely many different ways to fish. You don't need a typical pole. You need some line, you need a hook, a weight on the end, and of course some bait. But this is just a piece of carved wood that they wrapped a bunch of fishing line on. I just threw out the bait down there. 
We're calling it a wrap for the morning. That was a lot of fun. I caught two fish. Now we get to go back and see the family, but what a great experience. Thank you, fish, for letting me catch you. Let's head back in to shore. All the way over there. But look how beautiful. Fishing adventure, good, fun little activity. Only takes a few hours in the morning, but super peaceful, even if you don't catch fish. How did you catch it? Let's hear how you caught okay, it. Okay, okay. Because it might the audio might have not have been as good on the GoPro. <laughs> oh, they yeah, might have yeah. just heard that you just dropped your hook down, you didn't even know it was biting, and then you pulled it up. So let's yeah. hear the true story. So the true story is I toppled off my um off my little boat thing yeah. and I swam all the way down like 20 feet. Yeah. And then it was hiding under this rock and I just no way. grabbed it. What? And it just yanked it and just punched it. You punched it? I punched it oh my in God. my hands <laughs> and then I went back up. They slammed it on the boat and then I dropped it back in the water. Wait, didn't I see you at the bottom of the ocean doing the crab rave? Not me. I thought that was you. You're like, after you caught it, you put no, the it fish in your mouth that and you're like, beep, 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 beep. No, I, I did put the fish in my mouth at one point. Wait for me, I'm coming. This is how you get in and everybody else is already in. <laughs> or you just sit up here. Look at that bamboo shoot right there. Woo, can make a... You can make a nice Filipino house out of that right there. One heck of a ride. A whole mansion. A whole mansion. How's it going, girls? Oh, Except for I did okay. Spanish and I don't think I did it. Right. Apparently the monkeys are back in the treehouse. And all of a sudden we heard this big rip and a huge chunk. Here, it's right here. Off the wall. Yeah, that came Whoa. off the wall. You gotta go find him. Where? He peeled it. He actually peeled it. It's not his first banana. There's another one. Yeah, they're coming from that place over there. They're everywhere. They're coming from over there onto the house. Watch him go on the roof. There's an iguana right there, and I don't think the monkey likes it. He's like, he wants to jump on it. I think the monkey's gonna attack the iguana. Yeah, the monkey's in the tree wanting to run across the roof, but that iguana's standing guard. Here he goes, he's getting close. The iguana's on the move. Oh! Look at him! Here he comes across the roof. He's coming across the roof. Hey, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> oh, he's actually oh. So now we're all stuck, waiting to get off the freeway. Look at all these cars back here, semi-trucks, it's all stopped. This is Costa Rica life, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, we're stuck. We're stuck here for a while. Eventually. And we made it to our hotel. This is the Double Tree. It's one of the nicest hotels in the area closest to the airport. They give you warm cookies. That's what we always like at the Double Tree. We ordered two rooms, uh, one with a king bed, one with two double beds, and they gave us an upgrade to the presidential suite. So what does the presidential suite look like? This is free upgrade. Let's show you. This is the main area with the dining room table. This is our painting of uh, Costa Ricans with their oxen, I guess fake tree, wood ceilings, another painting over here with a lady pulling a message out of a bottle, a nice rug, a couple of couches. Look at this. Inside of here is all kinds of pottery, little funny looking guys. Here are a couple of chairs, a little refrigerator in this little area. Pretty nice big room. All right, so this is the uh, master room. Pretty nice, pretty large. And then here's the master suite. Giant TV, big mirror, more artwork. Lincoln up playing Fortnite with his buddies. King bed in here, giant closet. Again, huge, beautiful ceilings. The bathroom is something special because there's a sauna inside of there. There's the biggest hotel bathtub that I've ever seen. There's a toilet and then a weird looking bidet toilet. Ooh, fancy weird toilet with a telephone in between. That's a big bathtub. Like, seriously, check it out. 
Hey, look how big that is. This is about the, I'm not even all the way down into it. It's huge. Nice glass shower. And of course, the sauna. So you have to have a sauna when you travel. Only a, a president would have to have one. You can get this thing hot, really hot. Oh, so that's our Costa Rican hotel. That's kind of like the one in between before we go to the airport. But it's pretty nice. Thank you Doubletree and Hilton for upgrading us. So let us know what you thought about our Costa Rican trip. It's a pretty cool place. Um, I don't know where it ranks as far as favorite beach vacations. It's definitely a good one. Uh, is it better than Hawaii? Mm, I wouldn't say it's better than Hawaii. Is it better than Puerto Rico? I'm gonna say no on the Puerto Rico. But it doesn't mean that it's bad. It's still a great place and it's one of the only places I've been to ever, the only place ever, that you can see sloths. And so for that reason alone, you've gotta to come to Costa Rica at least once. Go see the sloths, go on some tours, have some fun, do some cool adventures. We caught fish today on kayaks. That was pretty amazing. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I want me to get some sleep. Time for all of us to get some sleep. I'm exhausted. See ya. Take that fish. I am the master of the seas.